Good morning, as always. It's so nice to begin our show with you. I hope that your day has off to a great start. And if you're like me, you're looking forward to the summer months ahead. It happens to be my daughter's last day of school before the summer begins. I'm sure many of you are already out there getting ready for the leisure of the weeks to come. So we're going to help you plan some fun things because Sean Phipps is here with the Chattanooga Tourism Company. Good to see you. It's great to be here. It's always great to be here. So time has flown by in my house. So my younger daughter graduates high school. Okay. okay? So this is her last day of high school. So Congratulations, last by the way. Thank you. I'm yeah. kind of feeling it now. Yeah. So last night we were talking and I said, Meg, do you remember the year that you were, they were in like, I'm going to make this up, but second grade and sixth grade or something. And we went to the drugstore and got a poster board. Each of us got a color, okay. uh, different color poster board. And we wrote on there the things that we wanted to do over the summer. And everybody got, it might just be catching lightning bugs, but always, always, always on everyone's thing was going to the aquarium, going okay. to Clumpies, yeah. all the downtown draws. So that's my lead in to you because there's well, so much to do in downtown in the summer. Yeah, you know, Chattanooga in the <laughs> you summer. You didn't know where I was going. No, I didn't know where you were going. I was like, oh gosh, she's going to ask me for what I want to do in the summer. Right? She's going <laughs> to ask me what I'm going to make my poster board. Um, hiking would be one. I mean, for, you know, I'm, oh, we're, yeah. we're so blessed with like riches in Chattanooga, especially the outdoors. And I like to tell people uh, who haven't visited, you could literally be downtown in the middle of the day. You could go do the aquarium. You could go up to Rock City, Ruby Falls, and you're just 10 minutes away from yeah complete silence in the woods mm -hmm. if you need that if that's what you need and I think we all kind of need that sometimes yeah I know I do um, you can go hike be back downtown stay in a nice hotel you can't yeah. get that in a lot of cities even Stringer's Ridge right here at our doorstep that's a great place it's our to closest go. hike it's right over there on, in North Chattanooga and has a stunning view of downtown kind of mm -hmm. looking out back over the river you can see the aquarium yeah um, it's great what a couple of my other favorite hikes are on Signal Mountain you know, just if you really want to get out there and, 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 and really see the gorge mm -hmm. and the beauty of that, it's a great time of year to do that. Uh, just get, getting outside is important. And what's great about Chattanooga is that, yeah, you could go on those strenuous 10 mile hikes where, you know, you're delusional and you need water and you forget everything. And then you can go, but you can also come downtown and walk on the river walk. That's true. You can walk downtown and you can with still your ice have cream that cone. experience with your ice cream cone. <laughs> yeah. Whoo, we're sweating it today. Yeah, really sweating it out. What about um, what is drawing people here? Because it's one thing that that's part of the fun, I think, for folks to come to Chattanooga as tourists mm -hmm. is that the locals also enjoy Chattanooga. You yeah. know, you're you're intermingling, so to speak. But we've got the Medal of Honor Museum, which I know you wanted to highlight yeah. this morning. I bet you that there are more tourists who see that than locals, do you think? I would absolutely think so. Um, and, you know, the, the idea of the Medal of Honor when it was created was just to be a kind of place to celebrate this Medal of Honor that was created here in Chattanooga. The first were awarded here in Chattanooga. And that's the reason it's here. And we've named it after a great Medal of Honor recipient who was local, Charles, Charles Coolidge. And it's, it's just one of those places where you go in and it feels... Um, you feel kind of the weight of it mm. and you feel kind of the, the power. And it's not the aquarium, but it's also important to have experiences that aren't like the aquarium too. You, right. know, you want to go in and you want to have the education and you want to learn about our history. And we had a great time shooting this, this little video there and I learned a lot. We'll talk about what all you've learned. Yeah. But as we set this up, let me tell you this. If you are not native to Chattanooga, you're probably realizing that so much of what we do, like our standard in the city, seems to be excellence at yeah. every turn. If we do something, we're going to do it well. So as you watch this video, really absorb the caliber of this museum. Here you go. Welcome to the CHA Spotlight. This CHA Spotlight features the National Medal of Honor Heritage Center, located in downtown Chattanooga on the plaza next to the Tennessee Aquarium. Here, you can learn more about these brave recipients in these world-class, state-of-the-art, interactive, and immersive exhibits. Did you know that Chattanooga is the birthplace of the Medal of Honor? This center tells the stories of ordinary individuals who expressed extraordinary valor under difficult circumstances. 
hear their stories, and even see some medals here. learning more about Chattanooga's own Charles Coolidge, who goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with German tanks in the forest of France. Then there's surgeon Dr. Mary Walker, who is the only Medal of Honor recipient that is a woman. With 19,000 square feet, this center is a historic experience for everyone, family, educators, groups, and more. Be sure to stop by Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., and on Sunday, from 10 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. This is a CHA Spotlight only at visitchattanooga.com. You have learned a lot with your job. Yeah, yeah, I have learned a lot. And, and uh, a lot of it is, is you know, you, you just kind of get to, to learn about the place you live. It's a lot of it has to do with pride and place, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like if I have to do, if I'm going to do this job, right. then I should know something about Chattanooga. Well, the th okay, so the thing about Chattanooga, if you're watching and you don't come into town much, yeah. I mean, as Sean was saying, you can go hit the periphery and sure. do the hikes or wherever you enjoy in town. But you come into downtown and it has evolved so much in the 20 yeah. plus years you've been here, I've been here. Um, that whatever your interest in life is, you'll find it. You've yeah. got art galleries, you've got nature, you've got the history that's here, you've got the fun. So much of what we have in town is free. Yeah, and I do. and I like to say, you know, not only with those free things, but our best asset is our people. Mm -hmm. If you find a Chattanooga on the street and you say, hey, where should I go? What should I do? Oh, they're going to tell you. And they're going to be yeah. aggressive. We like to call them aggressively welcoming in Chattanooga. It's That's true. It, which, which is good, but it's also like, yeah, we're going to tell you what we think and where you should go and where you should go eat. And directions to get there. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, we're going to talk your ear That's off whether true. you like it or not. We might even go with you. That's, That's just true. the way we are. And I love that about us. Okay, let me, that was a good line. We might even go with you. Uh, the videos that you have, are y'all yeah. always working on new ones? We'll yeah, yeah. We're all, so, so every month we record what we call a CAJ Spotlight. We're getting ready to do some great things to highlight our culinary scene. Mm. I'm personally tired of hearing people come into town and be surprised that we have good food here. Oh, yeah, are they? we have great food. Yeah, I hear it all the time. Why do you have really good food here? Yeah, we do. Yeah, and we're going <laughs> to we show it off. Eat. Yeah. Local chefs, amazing. So we're going to do that. We also have some upcoming videos on um, featuring Memorial Auditorium, which, as you know, the history of that oh place. Gosh, that's since the, the coolest 1920s. thing. Unbelievable. Uh, and all then, those seats can come out. And yeah. they used to have floor concerts in there. Floor concerts. It used to be flat and open air and yes. have circuses. I mean, it's 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 wild that to think about That's that right. building. That's right. They did have circuses. Uh, and then more, a few more um, upcoming ones are on our, our local murals. Oh, nice. We have a lot of great murals. And then uh, the one I had the most fun shooting because I just got to play pinball all day was at the Pinball Arcade downtown, uh, which is just a historic account of... 50 plus pinball machines. It's awesome. And you got to play pinball? Oh, I got to play pinball for like four hours. It was all, it was the best day. It was like eighth grade all over again. Yeah, well, uh, not my eighth grade. My eighth grade experience was okay. not that exciting. We're going to end on a happy note. Okay. Okay. okay visit Chattanooga.com uh, is the website you can go to to learn all that there is to do in town. Go buy your own poster board uh, and make your list of all the fun you things. brought that are. all the way back around. It That's was, a, it was a great a memory and it kept me on track. We got it all done that summer. Great to see you, Sean. Thanks. Set, 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 set.